The Game Boy Advance is often seen as the peak of handheld gaming. Many cite it as basically a portable Super Nintendo with a bunch of kick-ass original titles. But it obviously had two main drawbacks. One being the fact that you had to steal the remote batteries at least twice a week, and the other being the horrible, horrible dim screen. But what if there was a way to improve it? November 2016, a month that would cement itself in global history. This was the month everything would change forever. The NES Classic Edition was released. The NES Classic sparked a nostalgia wildfire when it debuted, so much so that getting one at launch was damn near impossible. But believe it or not, I was one of those lucky people who did not get one at launch. Yeah, I didn't even try, uh, but my girlfriend did, my birth- my birthday? My birthday was coming up, uh, and it just- it, it wasn't happening. But with the NES Classic came many questions. See, no official console like this had ever existed, at least not one that people actually cared about. So people began to wonder, well, if they could make one like this out of the NES, can they make one like this for the Super Nintendo, or the Nintendo 64, or the GameCube, or the Wii? Videos and articles speculating the different consoles and what games that would come out began popping up like weeds. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what Nintendo will put out next! Oh wow, an SNES Classic! Yeah, I actually got my hands on one of these. Uh, there was a, there was one Walmart in my small college town that was selling them. I saw that they had got a shipment that morning. Um, and I didn't have any money, so one of my co-workers actually offered to go buy it for me and I could just pay him back. And by the time he got there, on that day, the sales clerk told him that that was actually the last one in stock and they wouldn't be getting any more. So, everybody go subscribe to Nico Lolly Maids on Mixer and- oh, you know what? Mixer's going under... YouTube. Just subscribe to his YouTube channel and follow him on Twitter. I don't know. Oh no, Jeffrey. There are a few other classic consoles. Uh, there's the Genesis and the Atari Flashback, which actually started back in like 2004, just no one cares. But this is where Nintendo stopped. It was actually really disappointing once I finally came to the realization that Nintendo probably wasn't gonna make another one of these classic consoles, at least not until they were in another financial slump. And considering the Nintendo Switch is still selling out even after three years, it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen very soon. And so all of us Nintendo fanboys just kind of accepted over time that Nintendo wasn't gonna make another one of these classic consoles and, you know, we all learned to live with it, we accepted it. That is until Sega announced that they're releasing the Game Gear Classic. And I mean seriously, who's gonna buy this thing? It's so small. Everything I've seen about it is that you can't even see it. The thing is microscopic. Who's gonna buy that? But with the announcement of a classic handheld system, many Nintendo fans' ears began to perk up once again. Here's the thing. I don't think Nintendo's gonna do a Game Boy Classic Edition. I feel like if it was gonna happen, we would have seen some sort of leak for it, or maybe it would have even already happened. I mean, it's been three years now since the SNES Classic came out. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe tomorrow they'll announce, hey, Game Boy Classic. I don't know. But until then, there is a workaround for those of you who are like me and really, really just want this to exist. This is what I imagine the Game Boy Advance Classic would be if Nintendo wasn't so busy disappointing Pokemon fans. This has the Funny Playing IPS version 2 screen in it. Uh, I imagine most people watching this know what that means, but for those of you who don't, backlit. It's a backlit screen. In order to do this, you can do the modification yourself, or you can buy one pre-modded, meaning that you get the system and everything's already done. And honestly, if you have little to no experience doing modifications to Game Boys, I highly suggest just taking the route of buying one already done. I myself have fried at least five Game Boy motherboards trying to do mods and give it a backlit screen and it just, it doesn't work out. Just trust someone else to do it. If you do really want to try this yourself, there are tutorials online. I recommend the Retro Future or This Does Not Compute. I will link them down below. The cheapest pre-modded console that I found was from Funny Playing's website themselves uh, for about $100. Other places I've seen them go anywhere between $130 to $150. Um, however, 
it did take like a month to get here. I personally didn't mind, but if you'd need it now, I would go with, say, God of Gaming. The screen on the Funny Playing IPS is actually a little bigger than the original Game Boy Advance screen, and it has more pixels. It's a 1 to 4 ratio, and again, many of you watching already know this or know what that means, but for those who don't, that basically means for every one pixel on the Game Boy Advance, there are four pixels on the Funny Playing IPS, meaning that the image is now extremely crisp, extremely clear, and it looks great. The colors are vivid. It's amazing. I highly recommend this over the AGS 101 mod any day. I usually leave this at the 30% default in just like, say, this lighting. I'm inside, there's an open window, I have some lights on. Um, at night, I'll usually knock it down one or two notches, and if I'm outside and it's really bright out, I'll usually bump it up about one, two, three notches if it's really crazy. It does have 10 brightness settings, though, if you really want to go nuts. Next, I want to show you this. It's a rechargeable battery. You could, you could recharge this. This thing gets great battery life, and if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend getting the battery cover that has the pre-drilled hole in it. So you can just plug the USB charger right in. It's a USB type C. This particular battery, some of you guys might recognize it as the clean juice battery from Handheld Legends. Um, I know Retro Modding also makes a rechargeable battery. Now they have USB type C, much like the clean juice. Um, that's just the one I got. I don't have any experience with the Retro Modding one. Um, so again, go with whichever one you want. I will say though, uh, from what I've seen, a lot of people have talked very highly of the clean juice, um, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever yet. Um, and it is a solder-free install. Uh, all you need is some pliers to install it. Again, there are plenty of tutorials online. But okay, yeah. A new screen, rechargeable battery, that's all pretty cool. But I mean, the whole point of a classic console is that you have many games just at your fingertips as soon as you turn on the system. The Easy Flash Omega 4. This is a flash cartridge. Um, I'm sure, again, many of you know what this is, but for those of you who don't, um, this is a cartridge that goes into your Game Boy, and as you can see, it has an SD card. Can you see that? Probably. Um, you load the games onto the SD card from your computer, plug it into the cartridge, plug it into your Game Boy, and it works. It plays any game you can possibly imagine. This particular cartridge also, also, this particular cartridge also plays Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, as well as NES games. Not all of them do, um, and that does sound very cool. However, I will say with this particular cartridge, I have had some issues. Um, the main one being that I lost all my save files, and I only cried for 20 minutes. I guess it's just a thing that can happen. It is the read save error. Um, so make sure you back up your saves. So go ahead and get this flash cartridge if you want. Personally though, I'm probably gonna invest in the EverDrive X5. It is a little more expensive, but it seems like it's far less hassle than the Easy Flash. Just a few more things to note. Uh, you may notice that my Game Boy is pink. Uh, they did not make it in this color. That is a custom paint job that I did. Um, it does not, it, hold up that well um but honestly like i play this thing all the time so it's gonna like get a little worn down if it gets like insane i could just get a new shell and repaint it but for now honestly i'm not too worried about the look of the thing it plays amazing and that's all i really care about another thing worth noting is that this has a glass screen lens um the original ones came with plastic ones and typically if you get them used or you dig one out of your closet you're gonna notice that it's pretty scratched up that's not gonna happen with these. Um, I really, really recommend doing that. It'll stand the test of time. Just, you know, don't like drop it or anything. So there you go. A new screen, rechargeable batteries, and any Game Boy Advance game you could possibly imagine. And let's not forget that a bunch of Super Nintendo games got ported onto the system. And depending on the flash cartridge you got, you can also play NES games. Everything that you could possibly need to do this, I will actually link down below. Um, if I mentioned a certain person or websites or just where to buy like some stuff, um, I'll go ahead and link it for you guys if you really want to do this. It's not a cheap mod or console, but 
it is worth it if you're really into this. You're looking at spending around anywhere between $100 to maybe $200. So uh, again, that's an expensive mistake to make if you're planning on doing this yourself. I, I strongly recommend having somebody else do this. All right, and if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe because I do have another Game Boy Advance related video coming out pretty soon. Uh, it's a pretty big video that I've been working on. Um, so stick around if you're into that. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you're not already, follow me on Twitter at Blondie Animates for updates behind the scenes of future videos. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.